What's up guys, Invader1 here again, and I am back. This time with some really cool gameplay with the Geth Plasma Shotgun. It's a gun that has been forgotten, and a lot of you guys probably don't even use it anymore, but it's still an excellent gun, and it's an amazing weapon. And before I go into it, though, you guys are probably looking at my screen and saying, what the heck is this? Like, what's going on here? So for those of you who don't know, there's a, there's a tool builder or a character builder, uh, a character builder uh, called Calents, and uh, I, you, you can use it all. You know, when you're not on Mass Effect 3, you can use it to sp do different specs, and you can provide that link, etc., to people. The reason I'm using this to show you guys the spec that I use for the Geth Infiltrator for the shotgun build is because I had to reset them, and I don't have another reset card. So I figured I, I might as well go ahead and show you guys um, how I would spec the Geth Infiltrator for this shotgun build with the Geth Plasma Shotgun. So let's go through it here. For Tactical Cloak, the first three points, you're going to want to go with all three. And then on the next one, I'm just going to go for damage. I'm only going to go up to rank four so I can have more points uh, to put somewhere else. So now for Proxy Mine, what I normally do is I make sure I have all three specs. I always go for Radius on rank four. And on rank five, it's very important to do damage taken because you can increase damage. You know, this is how you debuff enemies, guys. You hit them with the Proxy Mine, and all of them take 20% more damage for eight seconds from all sources. So that's a great thing so actually I might spec fully into this I might not need it but let, let's go into the hunter mode hunter mode you need it for this because you want the rate of fire so on hunter mode on rank 4 you're gonna want to go for weapon accuracy because this this build you can use not just with the guest plasma shotgun but for the SMGs the hurricane etc so I want to make sure that you know you can have a well-rounded build now the next one is rate of fire you're gonna want this this is good for other weapons Again, you have the piranha. The piranha is ridiculous on this guy, like the shotgun, etc. Stuff like that, the rate of fire would definitely help. And over here, guys, on damage... Damage is decent, but what you really want to go for is speed and vision. Trust me on this. It, when you see your Geth Infiltrator get to places really fast and your vision, you can see farther out. It, it makes such a huge difference in your gameplay. So I truly recommend speed and vision here, and that's that's the way I would go. Now, for the Network AI, obviously the first three points give them a lot of weapon damage. What I like to go for here is weapon damage in rank 4. Rank 5, I like to go for we uh, headshots. So like that, if I'm using the Hurricane or using any other weapon... Even the claim war on him, you know, the headshot damage is ridiculous. And then you go for the last one on weapon damage again, and you get 22.5% weapon damage, and you get an additional Geth weapon damage bonus. So the Geth Plasma is a Geth weapon, so you get an additional 10% bonus. Okay, so that is actually, in reality, that's 30.5% weapon damage. That's why when you look at, you're going to, when you're about to see this gameplay, you're going to be like, what the heck? Like, how is that happening? So... Let's put the rest of the points here. On uh, I'm just going to put it on health and fitness. Let me see how many points I have left. Points available, 7. So, you know what? Let's do this. Instead of putting the shield recharge, let's finish it off. Uh, let's finish off the proxy mine on damage. If you want more, you know, the shield recharge, then you should put it on that last rank right here and make his shields recharge faster, which is, it's good for him since he's pr pretty flimsy. Uh, he, he's flimsy like that. So that's the way I would spec him out, guys. Um, tactical Cloak, rank 4, Proxy Mine, Radius, Damage Taken, Damage, Hunter Mode, Accuracy, Rate of Fire, Speed and Vision, Network AI, Weapon Damage, Headshots, and Weapon Damage, and Health and Fitness. Let's go on to the weapon itself. For the weapon, I really don't recommend anything but the Shotgun High Caliber Barrel and also the Shotgun Spare Thermal Clip, guys. Uh, there really isn't anything else you should be putting on the GPS, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. Let's say, though, if for some reason your Shotgun High Caliber Barrel is at a lower level, is at level 4 or 3 or whatever, then you can actually go ahead and use the High Velocity. At least the High Velocity would give you more damage. But it this... This weapon does not have any armor piercing capabilities. This weapon does not go through walls. You cannot do wall hacks, you know, like the like using the javelin and you know shoot through walls, etc. But it is a really, really great gun. And I gotta be honest with you guys, when it first came out, this gun was the weapon that everyone was using. It was just a god. It, it was the weapon that Mass Effect needed at the time because a lot of people were getting destroyed by Phantoms and Phantoms when the Geth Plasma came out uh, it just made 
enemies like phantoms a joke. Um, not that you can't get destroyed by phantoms without it, but the, the qualities of this weapon are absolutely amazing. So let's talk about some of the qualities of this weapon. I already told you guys the, the, the con. The con of the weapon is... There's a few cons, so the, meaning... The bad side of this is that this is not like the other shotguns where you can like the clean more, you could do wall hacks and you can shoot through the walls and stuff like that if you put enough armor piercing on it. And if you have the high caliber barrel you put it on, you, you can't do that. This is not. You shoot at a wall, this is just going to smack the wall and probably the wall is going to laugh at you. That's, that's mostly what's going to happen. The wall is going to look at you and wonder what's going on. So th that's, that's, that's the con. The other con is that it is a charged weapon. It means that you have to charge it up a little bit just to get the, the full damage of uh, the, the damage bar. Now, the, the, the thing about that is is that if you get used to um, the way uh, you get used to working the charge, you realize that you really don't have to charge it long. You really just charge the, let's say you're on a controller, you just hold it for a moment, charge it, and then just shoot and you'll get the full damage. Um, it is when you're fully, fully, fully charged all the way up. This gun actually is uh, the, the the shot is actually if all the pellets land on the enemy, it's actually stronger than the claymore, which is very, very interesting. So the gun is very powerful. It has those capabilities of being really, really strong. But yeah, the cons are that guys, you can't use it through walls. Um, and at the same time, it's a charge of weapons. So you have to get used to um, you, get, you have to get used to the charge mechanism. Now, the charge mechanism is not bad. Uh, if you get used to playing with it, and you just you, you, you can you can kind of play with the charge. Again, it's not long. You just it's for a brief moment. If you look at the gameplay, I'm just charging it for a brief moment, shooting, brief moment shooting. I'm using tack cloak for reload canceling as well. This is a shotgun. You can reload cancel. So let's do. Let's talk about some of the positives. So, number one, it is a shotgun. So, the the qualities that it does have is that it, it goes, it ignores shield gate. And if you don't know what shield gate is, please check out the, the a video that I created uh, explaining shield gate on uh, exactly what it is. It's one of the noob guides. Uh, definitely check it out and show you some examples of shield gate. So, a little a little explanation about that uh, about that is is that. Uh, Pretty much, let's say an enemy has a thousand shields, and your weapon does a thousand one hundred damage. With one shot, you would think that you would destroy his shields and then go to health. Well, no, that's not what happens in Mass Effect Three. What happens in Mass Effect Three? Ex what happens in Mass Effect Three is that if you shoot at the enemy with one thousand one hundred damage, well, you do tear off its shield entirely, but it will still have that one little sliver of shield. That will uh, that, that is gating it, that is stopping it, stopping the damage to go to health. You will have to shoot him one more time to break that gate, to break that little last bar, and then go into doing health damage. Now there are ways to get around that. Ways to get around that is by using phasic rounds or disruptor rounds. They ignore some of the shield gate and give you a percentage of the damage that bleeds into health. So the great thing again now, now, go, now that I have explained that. The great thing about this gun is that it ignores shield gate, like most shotguns do. There's very few shotguns in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer that don't ignore shield gate. This does ignore shield gate, so you're going to get an uh, uh, extreme amount of damage that damages the enemy's barriers and goes through to health, which is a great thing. And if you're using warp uh, disruptor rounds or something like phasics, it, it, it's even it's, it's even more. So. That is the greatest thing about this gun because it is a it, it is a shotgun that again you don't you don't have to worry about the shield gate issue. Uh, some of the damage is going to bleed into health. The enemy is going to die faster than let's say another weapon, a pistol. So that is a good thing. Now uh, one of the best 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 qualities of the GPS of the Geth plasma shotgun, and I think you you guys everybody must know this by now who has ever played it, the weapon, or if you ever seen some you know some platinum solos in the past, or you seen some team games in the past with it, is that it staggers enemies. <laughs> okay, you know like I said before, it's it's the, it's the weapon that made phantoms into LOL phantoms. You know you know laugh out loud because haha phantoms can't just hurt me anymore because. It staggers them. You could drop phantoms. It pushes them back. They can't shoot at you at the moment, so they get staggered. This was one of the. It wasn't the first, but it was one of the first weapons that 
actually did this, had this quality, this capability of doing this. So that's what made it so powerful because the gun it has a massive amount of damage and it staggers. So when you see phantoms, if you're using it on the Geth Infiltrator this way, I mean you're cloaking, then you're shooting your proxy mine, one shot of the Geth Plasma, most of the time that's all you need for the phantom, one shot. You're done. You know, if not, you might need one more shot. That's about it. You're you're you're, you're set to go. And the stagger goes for all enemies except the boss enemies, obviously. Uh, you'll have you, you can stagger the the the, the little all, all the little abominations. You can stagger all the little husks and all the little pesky friends. You can stagger all the phantoms. You can stagger Geth hunters. So hey, you know that's the great thing. You play against Geth and you play with this guy. You know you can go up to a Geth hunter and just slap him around. You know <laughs> get your get your revenge with your Geth plasma hunter. You know this is this is pretty much what this guy is. He's 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 the Geth hunter from the Geth faction. Uh, with the Geth Plasma Shock, it's just that's exactly what it is. I mean, it's it, it, which is really awesome to see. You know, that's what makes the Geth Infiltrator such an awesome character, and uh, he's just really, really powerful. He's one of the most powerful characters in the entire game. So the Geth Plasma Shotgun on this guy specifically actually gives him a boost. As I was I was showing you guys earlier on the build, you get an additional 10% weapon damage bonus, which is absolutely amazing. So you get that with all the Geth weapons. So that's that's another good quality. Now I was saying before about the damage. If you look at the damage bar, the full charge of shot, the damage is almost like towards the t it was like almost towards the end. And if you and if you add the shotgun high caliber barrel, you're getting that additional 25% damage bonus. That bar is filled up and more. So the charge shot is ridiculously powerful. So if you notice in this game, I am just literally tearing apart. I mean, you you. It, it was it was something else just to be able to play this, and this is a very very extremely powerful build that you can play. I mean, if you're, you you know, yes, the the GI Piranha build is powerful as well. Yes, it's really great. It's much faster than the GI GPS. Um, it, the GI uh, Hurricane build is great as well. There are many good builds for the Jet Geth Infiltrator. The thing about the Geth Infiltrator is that he makes any build good, so any weapon good. So that's a good thing. So it really it doesn't matter about oh well, I'd rather play with the Geth Piranha I'd rather play with with the uh, I'd rather play with the Hurricane Invader you know I'll forget the GPS you know this is a review on the Geth Plasma Shotgun not on the what's best on the Geth Infiltrator all right there are many everybody has their own taste on what they want to have on the Geth Infiltrator everybody you know has their own thing but. You know, this weapon is actually not just great on the Geth Infiltrator, but it is great on all the characters. I, listen, when they, this gun first came out, I actually did solos on it. I did team games. As a matter of fact, at that time, I, I didn't... I wasn't using it as effective as I did now, and I did great with it. And that gun... I did an entire solo with the human engineer called the Hypno Drone Gold Solo. That was a long time ago, uh, not too long, but just many, 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 many months ago, uh, when the game was still had downloadable content. And I did that Gold Solo, and it was called the Hypno Drone because I was using the human engineer, and I was using the Geth Plasma Shotgun. And some of the first Gold duos that I did, Geth Plasma Shotgun. Um, uh, and, and, and you know, I, I constantly, constantly use this. So this is the kind of gun that you can use on many, many characters. And it's great on, uh, on characters that you need a secondary weapon to stagger enemies. Let's say the N7 Destroyer. You have a sniper rifle on the N7 Destroyer. Or you have an assault rifle on the N7 Destroyer. But you need like a secondary weapon to stagger phantoms and stagger mooks. And you're just like, you know what, what am I going to take? Hey, you could always take the Scorpion. But how about the Geth Plasma Shotgun? The, the Scorpion takes a little bit of time for a stagger bomb to kind of blow up and the phantom might be able to get a few shots at you not if you have the gift plasma shotgun if you have the gift plasma shotgun you can go right ahead charge it up slap that phantom around stop them and and destroy them so this is a great secondary weapon or a great main weapon as you see in here you know i'm using it as a main weapon it is really really great now let me tell you another con about this since like i was telling you um it doesn't have it doesn't have it doesn't have Armor piercing capabilities. God, I'm getting tongue tied over here. So, for the Guardians, <laughs> there's one specific enemy that this gun has issues with. There's the Guardians, the Cerberus Guardians, because they have a shield. Now, 
they, normally the, the shots don't penetrate the shield, but what happens is, uh, you'll notice in a lot of gameplay that people are using the Geth Plasma Shotgun and just shooting like right at the Geth, uh, like, right at the, the, the Guardians, and they're able to kill them. So what happens is, is this is a shotgun, it has three pellets that shoot out. You can still shoot at the Guardian, try to a aim at the Guardian's mail slot, and what will happen is that maybe one or two pellets will go through and still kill the Guardian. So you can still shoot at a guardian. It it's some, some, sometimes it's a little finicky, but you can still shoot at a guardian and get it through, and the pellets will go, you know, will go right through. And, it's, and if you have incendiary rounds, those pellets that do go through, uh, they will actually continue eating up the enemy, um, etc. And if you have warp rounds, you know, like I have here, the, the increased damage on this gun is just ridiculously amazing. So that is a great thing. The other great thing about this gun is that. That the gun, um, due to the due to its uh, power, especially when it's charged up, due to its power, it applies ammo types, uh, it, it prim you know ammo types into the enemies to prime them for tech bursts, for fire explosions, all that. So if you notice, uh, you you won't notice it here actually, but uh, if you use something like disruptor rounds or incendiary rounds, and then you know you use your uh, use a proxy mine you can detonate fire explosions or tech bursts on the enemy so you can do that as well it, the damage is so strong that with a charge shot you you, you already prime the enemy that you can use your proxy mine or any other power that your you know, your character has to go right ahead and detonate a tech burst or fire explosion and do tons tons of damage so because of the damage capability of this gun you are absolutely able to prime pretty much instantly with this weapon so those are great, great qualities, guys. And, you know, I have to tell you, I really enjoy the Geth Plasma Shotgun. I haven't been playing it as much. I recently started playing it because I have a challenge that I am doing with this weapon and uh, in a specific character build. I have a... a I, I don't know, lately, uh, just so you guys know, you guys have been seeing a lot of Platinum Solos on my channel. And don't worry, the team games are coming. And also, I'm making sure that on the future solos, I am doing full, full commentary from beginning to end. So I'm going to be doing that, uh, you know, pretty much talking about the gameplay, what's going on. Maybe tell you a little bit about my life story, you know. I don't know. I might put some Easter eggs on those solos. Uh, wait and see. You never know. <laughs> so that's that. And at the same time, um, you know, I've been practicing with the Geth Plasma Shotgun again because I got a little rusty with it. Uh, I was always, always really good with it uh, since I've been playing it for a very, very long time. But I got a little rusty lately, and I said, you know what, let me get back into it and just have a lot of fun with it. If you're using uh, on a character like this, like the Geth Infiltrator, a lot of times, uh, a lot of times, I'm, I'm, you may not, you may notice he has uh, four shots capable, but sometimes what I do is I'll, re I'll reload after the third shot because it's just a force of habit. For me, I do it because I'm just I'm so used to having three shots that in my mind, for some reason, uh, with other weapons in my mind, for some reason, it doesn't register that I have a four shot kit uh, available out there, and that happens with like weapons like the Crusade. Crusade's three shots, and then I'm just like, you know, I don't. When I put it on the destroyer, I have four shots, and I totally forget that I have four shots, and I can shoot again. So that happens to me here with the Geth Plasma Shotgun. I have four shots, but I always forget, and I just reload in the fourth one. But that is okay that you do that. So at least like that, you're constantly, you know, reload canceling, going back, bringing your weapon over, and and getting it ready for the next few shots. Charge it up, and you don't have to charge it too long uh, to be able to get a really decent amount of damage. As you can notice here, you know, I'm I'm not taking too long on shooting, but I am I am charging it up. I'm I'm just it takes a brief just half of a second a charge up and shoot charge up and shoot charge up and shoot charge up and shoot so I could get a really good decent amount of damage when it's totally fully charged that's when you get the full damage where it's even stronger than a claymore and it's really amazing that you do that guys and especially when you see the boss enemies I try to do a full charge and with the tactical cloak bonus on the Geth infiltrator plus the proxy mine it just destroys them as you see here I'm doing really good damage against bosses um, and you know, again, that that's those are some of the great things about the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Now, some of the characters that I enjoy the Geth Plasma Shotgun is uh, well, obviously the Geth Infiltrator. He's great with it. I enjoy it with the Destroyer. I enjoy it with characters that uh, are casters like the Engineers or the Adepts, and I'll explain that. The reason this gun is really good for casters like the Adepts, and you're like, what? An adept? What are you talking about? You know, like, I don't want to use this gun in adept. Well, the reason it's good in adept because it's, because not only is it very powerful, but it's very light. 
This is extremely light. And if you want to go lighter, then you can remove the Shotgun Spirit Thermal Clip. And you could actually uh, remove that and replace it with the shotgun ultralight materials and make it 50%, 15% even lighter. Put it on an adapt and you're ready to go and your power recharge should be fine. So this gun is actually really, really good. Let's say you're playing, I don't know, let, let, let's say you're playing an adapt, an Asari adapt, and you need something and you're having problems with phantoms. And yeah, you're, you can mess them up with the Acolyte plus warp, whatever, or throw. That always works as well, but let's say you need a moment to be able to stagger a phantom or another enemy, or you need a really good strong weapon, but that is very light. Hey, GPS is here to go. And also the same thing, like I was saying before, the engineers. You have incinerate, you have overload, so this gun primes targets mostly instantly because it's so powerful. It is so strong. So, you know, lately, you know, lately a lot of people have gotten so into some of the really really strong weapons um and if you know some people say hey if i'm using a shotgun i'm not gonna use the geth plasma because you know whatever it's boring i gotta charge and some people just don't like charge shots you know so that's totally understandable but the weapon itself is really really good now i w I, I do have to say this because this is actually very important this weapon has never had any balance update so that says a lot. Number one, it's a charge gun, so some people, not everybody uses it because of the charge mechanism. So some people would just rather just shoot, shoot straight. I really like this gun. I mean, I, I really, really like it. When it first came out, I, oh my god, I was using it for everything. And one of the other reasons why I use it for everything is because you can also snipe with it. If you notice, this is London. I am actually shooting so far. It is so accurate. And besides that the reason you can do that because the gun is accurate and all it also has a slight homing capability ah if you didn't know that it its pellets kind of home in if you are shooting by hip firing let's say let's say you're not zoomed in and you're shooting you hip firing first of all you do not have a hip fire penalty to shotgun you're good to go no hip fire penalty there so you don't have to zoom in or not be zoomed in to get the same amount of damage. You'll get the same amount of damage regardless. The other thing is that if you like, there are moments that I do zoom in because I want to take advantage of the of, of the, the very slight homing mechanism that the pellets have. So if you notice when I have enemies from far, I'll actually zoom in. I, I do a quick scope just to release the shots but that I, I scope into the enemy briefly so that the game knows that hey that's who I'm trying to shoot at so you'll notice that marauders I'm getting them from far really small enemies I'll scope in real quick and I'm getting them from far and you want to do that really quickly you don't want to stay there because you want to get your next charge shot going you want to you want to get a flow for each shot so you don't want to do that you know you know you just want to quick scope in and release your shot you know quick scope look at the enemy release your shot and let you know let go of the scope so that's that's pretty much what I do a lot for really far enemies and what it does the pellets kind of track them not all the pellets will hit the enemy but most of them will try to track the enemy and the ones that do hit the enemy just absolutely destroy them so that's another thing so the other way I also shoot is uh, it, it, it's just hip firing you the great thing about hip firing with this weapon is that it, because let's say if I'm playing on a console, if you're on PC, then you're not gonna have this problem. You know your mouse cursor. You, you don't have to have to worry about auto aim. But when you zoom in, you know sometimes the game, especially against Reapers, and there are tons of like there are, there are tons of cockroaches around. I just call them cockroaches. Actually, the the swarmers. I say there are tons of swarmers. If you zoom in, the, the 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 auto aim is gonna move you to a swarmer or whatever, and it's gonna mess up your shot. So again, like I said before, this doesn't you don't have a, a, a hip fire penalty, so you don't have to zoom in and you can still get the shot. And even with even with the hip fire, you still have a, a very slight homing, you know, a little bit of homing. It works better when you zoom in, but you you know it, it's you still have it when you are doing, you know, hip hip firing uh, your gun. So that's that's uh, again some of the great 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 features about this weapon. So pretty much I think I I detail some of the great things about this gun. I think some, maybe some of you guys probably did not know a lot of this. So that is, um, and, and I'm, and I'm glad I took out time for this. I should have taken out a long time ago to uh, to do a review of the Geth Plasma Shotgun. I have so much gameplay on it when the game first came out, and, and it's such a good gun. 
So it's I I probably should have had that uh, done a long time ago, but still you know it's great to be ha uh, doing this now and showing the you know the Geth plasma shotgun at work, especially with a Geth character. So you know this is the Geth hunter just doing his thing, just going out there and kicking some butt and kicking some Reaper behind. So that is it, Geth plasma shotgun, absolutely a plus gun. It is absolutely great. I really enjoy it a lot. And I think that you guys will be seeing some new gameplay with it. Because I'm doing my best to practice as much as I can with it and make it way, you know, get myself extremely, extremely skilled with it so that I can go and just go even faster. What's great is I've actually, um, this is not my first gameplay with it. I played a few times, just, you know, practicing here and there. It's always, this guy always just kills, kills everything. And I was really surprised as how great it is against um, even Geth, the Geth bombers. Again, the slight homing mechanism tracks, so most of the pellets, or all the pellets, will actually get to the Geth bomber and destroy it. So that was a great thing. So there are a lot of really good qualities about this weapon. It does have its cons. It is a charged weapon. It doesn't shoot through, ar you know, it doesn't shoot through walls. Doesn't have armor, uh, armor piercing capabilities, but the damage is so powerful that as you can see I'm going through brutes I'm damaging them I'm hitting them I'm just really doing a lot of damage regardless it might take you a few more shots but you know hey it is what it is it's there um, and you can destroy it and if you put something like incendiary rounds on this puppy you're 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 destroying everything <laughs> it's really really that good um, so yeah it has its it has its cons but it also has its pros and I think it's I think it's a decent weapon. So yeah, guys, that that's about it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, please let me know um, if you have any suggestions for other weapons. And I, I already have a list that you guys have been you know submitting to me in the comments. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, definitely uh, definitely helps me out. And at the same time, I will be we will be coming out with uh, more gameplay coming up and other games as well uh, please check out the channel and I hope you enjoy what you see and for those of you new guys welcome to the channel uh, I hope to be hearing from you please comment I always enjoy that because it gives me new ideas and I do listen and pay attention to what you guys have to say alright take care I uh, hope to again that you guys enjoyed this uh, invader one out see you guys on the next video